Um, but uh, she's here and she suffered through me and continues to suffer through me in a variety of different ways. But in a twist of irony, what I want to say about my mom right now is honoring. So give me a few minutes. Um, about 10, 11 years ago, my mom went through a difficult season in life and I was a brand new church planter in the South Florida area and she was going through a painful, difficult season in life that I just, I couldn't understand. I couldn't understand it because I was a Pharisee. Um, and I was dishonoring to her in my heart. I was dishonoring to her with my mouth. I just couldn't understand why this woman who I had always believed was together was in some ways falling apart. And um, I was judgmental. She, uh, she had been an idol to me for so long and uh, I was now face to face with her humanness and um, I just I couldn't understand it I, I couldn't comprehend it and I couldn't comprehend it because I was a self-righteous law-laden Pharisee and so this is what I want to say uh, mom your brokenness and your failures have taught me more about grace. Than any of your put togetherness ever did. And when I, when I thought you had it all together, and I knew that I didn't, so many of your words fell on deaf ears to me. I had developed her in my mind as someone who was flawless and I knew how flawed I was she was good I was bad and so when she would speak to me when she would advise me counsel me it just it fell on it fell on deaf ears but now I hang on every word you say I I need you and I depend on you and my commitment to preach the grace of God to guilty people is in large part because of you uh, uh, You get it, you just, you get it. And mom, you're honest because you're free and you're free because you don't pretend that you have it all together. And you don't pretend that you have it all together because you understand that who you are is not anchored in what you do or who other people think you are. It's anchored in what Jesus has done for you. I love you and I am forever grateful that you are a struggler and a lover of God's grace. And that has taught me more about who I am and who God is than anything you ever said to me. While I'm grateful to you for all the change diapers and hugs and kisses and words of encouragement you gave me growing up, your ministry to me now is so much stronger than it ever was, ever. Sometimes we think that, that to have an effective, fruitful ministry, goodness is a prerequisite, but the truth is that no one is good. Our ministries become effective when we acknowledge our badness and when we live out of our brokenness. And that's what you do.